all welcome and welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing good okay so let's begin with the brief intro so if you are not knowing by now or this is your your first time visiting my channel your this is my channel and you can see these two are active uh, playlist integration playlist and interview prep playlist and if you haven't explored this integration playlist yet i would again and again i mention in every video i will mention it again uh, do 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 explore it at least the first to 10 videos diligently uh, so that you know you have at least the basics of integration in your control if uh, you are like i would say if you have 2.5 plus or 3 3 plus years of experience like if you are below than that and you have this knowledge that's fantastic you could that that's fantastic but if you are here already like you are already 3 plus years of experience then you must explore it that becomes a must for you okay and means whatever if you are preparing for interviews and all thing and so it has every every everything you would ever ask for and all the documents are also i have shared if you check the feature post in my linkedin profile like it is having a feature post for all means for all the integration posts all the 19 or 20 videos that i have shared and also it has documents for all the interview prep playlist that i have shared this interview prep playlist is is i don't i have no words like it is extremely extremely beneficial i would say because each and every video contains some fantastic use case some out of the box use cases some real time use case real time use case is very important i mean it's 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 fantastic just just trust me on that and you will definitely find one to two uh, questions from this playlist in your uh whatever interview you are attending so it's it's just fabulous and again it is having like all the documents i have already shared this is for day 10 day 9 like you can clearly see use case 8 use case 7 so each and every use case 6 use case 5 each and every uh, video is accompanied by the document and there is explanation of whole concept there is a uh, live real time use case implementation there is everything means you would ever ever ask for so just uh, just just don't worry or anything and just start the playlist and start exploring okay uh, so let's come back to today's video i am very excited about today's use case because again this is a very real time use case i have implemented it but in my one of the projects so i know that it is a real time use case and it is also a very buzzing use case i mean um like several several questions are there still people have yet to like, like many community posts have seen like they present a very complex solution to that but i don't know if uh, these are new features introduced in zanadu and they are old post or whatever but the method that i'll be presenting here for this is very good okay so first sorry let me first present you the use case so also it would be flashing somewhere in the screen so you can read it as well so yeah so the use case is basically we need to copy all the attachments in a wait let me just go to this and explain you okay so you must be seeing that there is a uh, there is a problem field in the incident i'm just taking it as an example like problem field here you can take anything you can take anything like a parent incident field or change request field or whatever like a, a major incident is being created or a problem is being created for all that incidents means i hope you understand means whatever you can take okay so whatever let's say we have um, this incident is having let's say two to three attachments and now we are either creating a new problem and attaching it to this record or we are attaching an existing problem to this record whatever that doesn't matters okay and we are attaching that problem to this record then um, <clears throat> then whatever attachments are in this incident record must be transferred to this problem now you can uh, modify it to anything of your uh, caliber or you know whatever is your requirement you can modify it to that like you can modify it to change request you can modify it to parent incident major incident like basically the gist of this video is you are transferring all the attachments not one or two you are transferring all the attachments whichever is here to uh, your 
other reference record now it can also be interaction and incident like if you are aware about the virtual agent things like there is an interaction record created and there is then if we click on incident create incident or create request then we need uh, that is a very very uh, real time use case that we have to transfer all the attachment from uh, the interaction to the incident or the request whatever has been created from that so i am telling just example that there are several several use cases with this same logic okay so i hope you are now aware about the today's use case and uh, how means how crucial it is how buzzing it is so uh, without any further ado let me just uh, uh, show you how we are going to implement that so i am going to use a flow designer for the same so yeah Yeah, copy attachments from as I told you already I am going to use problem record for this so yeah it completely depends on you you can modify it as per whatever your requirement is okay or whatever you are practicing that's completely your call okay so incident is created or updated okay let me just save it and uh, yeah let's use the table as incident and filters i'm adding uh, like i said that mine is related to the problem field so yeah that's what i'm gonna give i'm gonna give it problem changes okay so yeah okay wait uh, I will I will also change this one for each unique change. So whenever the problem field changes, this uh, this will trigger. Okay, and um, yeah. So now this is the OOP action that I will be using, uh, which I don't know everybody is familiar with or not, but this is extremely handy. Trust me, that this is extremely handy. And if you are not aware of this one, this video will help you. Okay, so first of all, we are getting all the attachments, uh, whatever are in this record. Okay, so we are selecting the source record first. So this will now give you all the attachments. Okay, basically this get a chat, get a chat, sorry, get attachments on record gives you uh, four informations. Okay, this gives you four information as far as I know. It will give you all the sys ID of all the attachment records which is attached in your incident record. Okay, second, it will give you the count of all the attachments. Third, it will give you uh, means uh, action state since it is uh, an action. So, it will give you action status like it will be having code and message like whether it is success, whether it is failure and uh, code like it will be having zero or one or means whatever in background it is. And and uh, fourth, it will be having error uh, uh, means uh, fail on error or something. So four uh, fields it is having. So this is about get attachments on record. Okay, using this get attachments on record. And uh, we will just be using this for loop. Sorry, it is on all knowledge. So for each, we will be using and items will be get attachment on record and attachment records like i told you it will be uh, giving me the sys id of all the attachment records which it has found from this incident okay like suppose that it is having uh, two attachments then it will give me two sys ids so what i am doing i am navigating through all that sys ids okay using this for loop and uh, then after that after navigating i am just copying that attachment okay so the source will be exactly this like for each attachment record so one by one it will be copying it and the target record like i said i am doing this for incident uh, sorry problem in that uh, <clears throat> incident one so exactly that i will be doing and uh, yeah this will help you copy and then and then i'll just update <clears throat> I will up just update the work notes in the uh, incident record that uh, incident record that attachment have been copied. Okay, so uh, yeah, incident record and then in the work notes I will be updating this. Okay, that uh, attachments 
yeah you can see that four fields i was telling you right so get attachments on record so that only i was telling you that it will give you four information this will give you attachment records it will give you count action status and these four things so that thing i will be uh, <clears throat> i will be including in the uh, work notes and also i will be including that attachments have been copied to the problem record number so let's see uh first uh, not this one wait first i'll include count so attachment records they are then i will include the attachment records and uh, the code Na like this you will also be understanding that what it, what happened okay and the code return means what four values that i was talking about that also you will understand oh uh, action status code i will also be printing and i'll also be printing message uh, yeah so yeah and uh, attachments have been copied to problem okay by mistake i need number okay so this is what i will update also in my <coughs> work notes so yeah so this is the only method that we will be using for uh, copying the attachments so for now uh, let me just <coughs> let me just take an open incident uh, 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 uh. filter out okay so i'll just take this incident 003 whatever it is okay it is already having attachment okay that's that's good uh, and these are i think the pdfs of the document that i have shared in my use case 9 and use okay so i'll just let it be and i'll and uh, i'll just change the in, uh, problem record also here is the pages is still loading yeah so i'll just change the problem record here uh, for now you can see uh, you have already seen the incident record that it is having two attachments and now you see the problem record that it is not having any attachment <coughs> so it is not having any attachment and uh, this exactly i'm going to test it so i'll just save this and i'll test it with this incident record only okay oh uh, yeah let's see yeah so you can see that attachment uh, uh, this whole flow is completed and uh, let's refresh yeah so you can see in the problem record both the attachments are copied and uh, and 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 now you can also check in your incident record where the uh, whether the work note have been updated or not mm -hmm. okay this should be in notes yeah so you can see that there are two attachment records uh, as i had told you that the first one the attachment records uh, will be giving you the sys ids so it gave you two sys ids and the uh, the count will be giving you the count of records so it gave you two and the code returned is zero like i told you about the code so it gave you zero and the message was success above attachment has been copied to this it also copied you it also gave you the problem number as i had told so now i think uh, majority will agree that this is the most easiest way to copy the attachments among records and it is very small way also like like it's just fabulous so 
yeah i hope you learned again i hope you learned again a lot from this video if you and a lot of new things as well so please 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 like share and subscribe if you haven't already this will this will motivate me a lot a lot uh, to you know bring up these uh, new videos and these interview questions and you know this full package uh, video so please 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 like share and subscribe thank you so much bye bye